Morning Greetings, Salutations, you guys are here and here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. I'm filming this literally right after I ended the other one. It's a little bit after because when I ended the last vlogmas episode, I just did um, a clay mask and I had a clay mask on my face. I literally let it sit for like over an hour. Um, I just washed it off right now. My skin feels super smooth, but as you can see, like I said, my skin's like pretty red and in a little bit, it'll, it should like clear up and stuff. I was going to do a uh, microdermabrasion, but it's pretty late already. Um, yeah, it's like... 2.48 a.m. already, so it's time to go to sleep. So I'm just going to do my regular skincare routine and go to sleep. Um, but if you guys want to see like a, you know like those, um, who does it? There's like when you do like your like whatever, how many step skincare routine things or whatever. Um, if you guys want me to do like one of those videos, I will. Just let me know down below in the comments. I'll do it like in one of the, I'll do it in place of maybe a Vlogmas or insert it inside. I don't know. We'll see like a Vlogmas episode. Um, but I'm just going to do my skincare and I want to show you guys like how my skin looks after like it's calmed down. And yeah, because like it looks kind of crazy. After, right after you do the clay mask, especially when you leave it on for so long. But I feel like my skin just feels so baby soft. Like, it feels amazing. But I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, you guys. I am back. I kind of want to show you guys how my skin looks. It's still a little bit of red, like, right there and a little right there. But it should be gone by the morning. But I want to show you guys how my skin looks once I applied all of my potions and concoctions on there. Um... I really just like treated my skin tonight. I just put a ton of great things, um, lots of like like vitamin C, retinol, hyaluronic acid, um, and a bunch of other stuff. I don't even remember what they're called right now. But um, again, if you guys want to see a video for my skincare routine, just let me know. But I feel like just my skin just looks already so much brighter and so much better. But I'm still pretty right around here. And I think it's because I was like really, I was like picking at it. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. All right, I'll see you guys again um, in the morning. Tomorrow, we have a a laundry list of things we have to do. I gotta um, package some stuff. And then I gotta... I think I might, oh, I gotta go to the storage unit and drop off the Thanksgiving, the, well, Thanksgiving fall decor, possibly pick up some of the Christmas stuff, um, what else? I already forgot, I had a list, but I don't want to look at it right now. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning, good night! Good morning, you guys. It is now daytime, and I wanted to show you guys um, how my skin looks immediately after just waking up. And I normal like I I usually sleep like on my face, which is like awful. Like I hate it, and I like try to train myself not to like sleep on my face because it's like not like the best. And plus, um, it's kind of um, what's the word? It like kind of dries out your skin a little bit. But I do have a, like, a silk pillow, so... Ugh, my pillow is, like, so gross, though. Because I always, like, sleep with my skin products on it, so then, like, it's, like... I feel like some parts are, like, bleached, some parts are darker. <laughs> I needed to get a new one. I probably should have bought a white one. Um, but... What was I gonna say? Um... With the silk pillowcase, it does, like, really help your skin. Like, it doesn't really dry out as much. And also, it leaves your hair, like, really nice. Like, it doesn't um, mess up your hair as much when you're sleeping, which I love. Like, literally, like, when I wake up, my hair still looks pretty much the same, which is a game changer when it comes to, like, pillows. Um, like, normal, like, cotton pillows, I feel like they always, like dry like dried out my hair and like make it like frizzy and stuff but literally like I woke up like a few minutes ago and my hair still looks like this and it's like not all like crazy like even the back is still pretty good but I sleep on my face so it doesn't really matter um I feel like by half the night I'll sleep on my back and then like in the morning I'm like I wake up and I'm like suffocating in the pillow but uh so this is how my skin looks I'm actually going to um 
So what I do though is I don't normally just like wash my face immediately in the morning. I will brush my teeth and then I will, um, what is it called? I spray a, uh, the rose mist, like hydrating toner or whatever, or whatever stuff from, uh, Trader Joe's onto my face and then I will put some um, oil on so I either use or if I my sometimes if my skin feels super super dry I'll put some of the Trader Joe's um, lotion on my face the facial lotion and then I'll put some like vitamin C or uh, what's the other one that I use um, hold on I'll show you guys so I'd like to put a little bit of aquifer on my lips but after I brush my teeth. Okay, we're in the bathroom. Um, so this is the facial toner that I will use, that Trader Joe's one. It's literally the best, I love it. It's like such a good pick-me-up too. So sometimes like, if I'm like really on the go and I feel like I just need to like spray my face a little bit, that is so hydrating and I spray some on your neck. I just like spray a lot because I really, really like it. Plus it smells really, really good. And then, um, I use these products. So I use a Trader Joy's Trader Joy's Trader Joy's facial oil and the Marula facial oil. This is also from Trader Joe's. And then I really like the Mario Badescu Vitamin C serum. This one's a little bit pricey, but it lasts for a really, really long time. And the same with this. This is the Starlight Retinol Night Oil. I know this is only for nighttime, but I still use it sometimes during the day. I don't really use it all the time. Um, also, it's like I said, this is expensive, but I bought it in a two-pack at Costco, and Mom and I split it, so she has one, I have one. I've literally had this for like a year, and it's still going strong. But I literally only use this like every maybe two to three days. Um, I have other retinol stuff, so I don't always use it, but I do love this, and it works really, really well, and I feel like it really gets into your skin. Um, but I just put, like, one or two drops of each of these into my hand, and then I just, like, pat it onto my face, and then I will use, um, like, a gua sha or something just to, like, help, um, depuff my face, because my face gets really puffy when I sleep. I feel like I really need to get, um, what is it called? A... What are those things called? A oh, humidifier, like, in my room. Because I feel like that's what they said will help, like, you when, like, not be so puffy when you wake up. But, um, I'm going to put this stuff on my face and then I'll show you what I do. Okay, I set it up like this so I can really show you guys how I do it. So I just wash my face. I wash my face. I just, um, brush my teeth. And, um, I exfoliate my lips with my toothbrush. Because I feel like that helps my, um, lips a lot. Like... Because they get really dry. I feel like it helps, like, um, it helps them throughout the day. I don't know. So I'm just going to apply some of the Aquifer. This stuff is literally the best. Uh, I like to also, like, when I get out of the shower and I moisturize my skin, I like to use the, I had the Trader Joe's body lotion and... After I use the body lotion, sometimes I'll put, like, um, some, like, vitamin C or some of the marula oil that I'm going to show you guys. And then I just, like, put it over my skin. And then I seal it in with this. And I feel like it really, really helps keep you moisturized throughout the whole day. It's also really nice to do that at nighttime. And then when you wake up, your skin is, like, amazing. Like, look at my arm. Oh my gosh, it looks... I don't even know if it's showing up on camera, but look how dark my arm is compared to my face. <laughs> um, but, so the reason I don't, like, wash my face right when I wake up is because, um, usually, like, when you're sleeping, you're not, like, really doing anything that's gonna get your face too dirty, and, uh, I, I heard that, like, well, don't stop, I've, I've seen, like, okay, quote me, like, let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> But, like, when you sleep, like, you, like, produce, like, oils. Like, it's just, like, for your hair. Like, you're not supposed to wash your hair all the time. Um, uh, it's kind of like your skin, like, your skin does produce, like, beneficial oils, like, for your face and your skin or, you know, whatever. And you don't want to just be, like, washing it off constantly. And I find that if I don't wash my face, 
like too many times a day. Like some like sometimes I still will wash my face again in the morning. But sometimes if my face does it like you know like when your face just like feels dirty, but like like, like that's what, like in the morning like when you wake up you're like oh, I need to like wash my face. Um, or if like I'm gonna go somewhere like in the morning. But usually like right when I wake up. And before I like do anything else, um, I like to just put some more oils in my face, like let my skin kind of like rehydrate, I guess, without like stripping it again with any harsh um, detergents or anything like that. So um, this is the rose water spray that I spray. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> like, I hope I don't sound crazy. And I hope you guys are like... Like, these are just things that work for me. Um, I've done so many things over the years to, like, figure out, like, things for my skin. And these things have just, like, really, 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 really helped it. And I... I just wish I knew more about this kind of stuff back in the day. And I would have been even able to take care of my skin even more. Um, so, I'm going to use my oils now. Let me just, like, open them up already so that... I can easily put them on. Okay, so I have the Mario Badescu. Um, I can't show you guys them anymore after this because I'm just gonna like put them in my hand. But I just like get like one, two drops, just like that. And then it's like a oil concoction. And then this is the Marula oil, just like two drops. And then the rose oil is just like two squirts. I love the oil, like these oils from Trader Joe's. I feel like they work really well. And they're pretty affordable as far as like these oils go. Um, and then I sprung for the Mario Badescu um, vitamin C serum because um, vitamin C, it's pretty like the, uh, it's pretty like erratic or something like the formulas of the oil and it degrades pretty easily or is not as strong or um, goes into your skin as well. Like there's like different grades of vitamin C or something. So uh, I thought like the Mario Badescu was like a good medium. And then this is my star light oil or whatever it's called from um, Strivectin. And then it's all in my hand like this. And then I kind of just like warm it up and mix it all together in my hands and then just pat it onto my face like that on your neck it's amazing and just get it i feel like it just like gives your skin like a really nice kind of like dewy glow too i feel like this combination of oils doesn't actually make your skin look oily i feel like it just gives it like a really nice glow and then like the rest of the stuff like don't waste it like put it on your hands and the crazy thing is like if there's like anything left in my hands like after this sometimes i'll like run it through my hair and that just like gives it a little bit of like a sheen and it doesn't like weigh it down like too much I don't do this all the time though, but I will occasionally like run it through my hair. But this is like how my skin looks after I do that. Um, I didn't put any of the lotion on because one, I forgot to grab it. <laughs> I was going to, but um, my skin actually doesn't feel too, too dry today. So I just used the oils and I love... I love the oils. I'm not going to put on any SPF yet. Um, I'll probably wait till later just in case I do end up washing my face. Because sometimes you do, your skin does feel a little bit heavy when you put um, too many oils on or whatever. But I feel like it just feels really good on your skin. And then sometimes, um, or I usually will do this. I have like this little gua sha rollerball set right here. And now that you like you have the oils on your face, you can use um, the gua sha and you can use it to kind of like depuff your face, which is really nice. 
And also, if you keep it, like, in the fridge or something, it's, like, nice because it's, like, kind of cold. And it feels just, like, really nice on your skin. And you can really just... Uh, feel it. And I feel like I always do the gua sha wrong, but, like, I just kind of, like, do whatever I feel like. Um, always in kind of, like, an upward motion. Go with, like, the planes of your face. You don't want to... And you usually, whenever you do this, you want to do it when you have, um, oils on. Because you need that slick surface to kind of, like, run the gua sha over it. So that way... You don't, like, um, pull your skin too much or anything. But I feel like this just helps, like, de-puff and, like, make your skin just, like, feel so nice. I'm also trying to do this, like, to, like, sculpt your face a little bit so you can get, like, um like the angular kind of like jaw or whatever you know and I feel like this does really help I don't know how much it actually does in re-sculpting but I find that I did not know this I just learned this recently that I am someone that puffs up a lot and I retain like a lot of um like lymphatic fluids in my face and whenever I do um like a gua sha or whatever I feel like it does help um my lymphatic drainage and it just so when you whenever you do the gua sha like you kind of like bring back all the fluids and help it go into like your the drainage systems or drainage areas in your face which is like generally like back here so then i'll do that and then um the next thing i will do is i actually have this roller and this is the MDNA one. It's the one that, like, it's Madonna's skincare company. Um, you can actually get these from a lot of different brands. This is just the one that I have. Um, but I really, really like it. Like, ever since I got this, I feel like it's been a game changer for me as far as helping with my lymphatic drainage and kind of just, like, help sculpting out uh, my jaw area. Again, I don't know how true, like, the re-sculpting stuff is, but... The, re the um, I feel like I really do see a difference, especially with, like, the lymphatic drainage stuff. Even if that's all it's doing, I really like it. The MDNA one is pretty expensive, but I got this, um, someone was selling it on Mercari, I think is where I got it. So I got it at a really good deal, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna spring for it. And it was at a fraction of the price. So, if you want the MDNA one, look for it secondhand. These are pretty easy to, like, um sterilize like it's literally just a rotating thing of jigger and yeah otherwise you can get like the you can get almost the same exact thing i think they sell them at like beauty supply stores i don't i think i've even seen them at like target and stuff so or you can get them from amazon but i love this because it's really easy it's kind of like a gua sha in itself but um you put it right here this and then you just roll it back and you just follow the contours of your face and it helps push back all like your um anything like any liquids or whatever that's being stored inside your face from the your lymphatic drainage and it helps push it back into um the channels that will help push it out of your face so like what like i feel like even if i just do like one side of my face i see a difference but it could be just like one of those um, in your head type of things, but I feel like it really, really works. I feel like, especially, like, right here, I usually get, like, pretty puffy, and then when I just do this, um, a lot, it really helps it. And also, it's really cooling, like, whatever this, um, metal is that this is made of, it's just really cooling for some reason. It just feels very, very nice. It feels like a nice massage. And I feel like this, it just, like, helps lift your area, like, this area up. You can also do it, like, under your eye, right here, kind of, like, where your cheekbone is. And that's why I like this, because it kind of, like, 
pushes and contours your face without you having to really try too much and it rolls so even if you don't really have any product on your skin um, it's not like actually pulling your skin it's really just pushing and all that stuff and you can like roll it back like this too so you put you apply more pressure when you uh, move up and then you do low and then uh, more pressure less pressure more pressure and then you kind of just push everything out of there and like see like I feel like my face already looks just like more lifted just like that and we're just doing this mechanically and it's not really with anything else and I love it so and you also want to get like under your chin because I feel like I hold a lot of stuff there so this really helps like Especially, um, I need to do this on a day when I'm really, really puffy. Because on a day when I'm really, really puffy and I use this on one side of my face, like, one side of my face will, like, literally shrink. So, it really, really does work as far as lymphatic drainage goes. And I don't know how many times I said lymphatic drainage, but that's, like, my number one thing sometimes when I wake up is how puffy my face gets. And my head, like, my face is huge. I cannot wear most hats. So... Anything to help my face, like, de-bloat is really, really good. Also, like, Yasmin, my sister, if you're watching this, now you know what my skincare routine is in the morning, and you know that I'm not lying to you. Yasmin feels like I'm always lying to her about um, what I do to my skin, and this is literally what I do in the morning. And I feel like it just makes your skin glow and look so beautiful. I, I can't believe I actually, like, I, I've never felt like my skin's ever really looked good because it's, I've just been through so much with, like, my acne and then all that stuff. But recently, I feel like this is the best my skin has ever looked. Even just, like, looking back on photos or whatever that I've taken uh, in the past few years compared to now, I feel like my skin has really just transformed so so much I didn't even do this I did I um, I just transformed so much and I'm just like living for it so my the rest of my like regular skincare routine though um, after this oil stuff it's um, a little bit different I do use um, more like lotions and potions and then SPF but I'll do that for you another day because I don't want to just bombard you with all the skin stuff but if you guys like skin stuff I do so many things to my skin <laughs> just to like help it out a little bit um I feel like this also helps like distribute the um the oils that you put on your face and I feel like it really helps it go in too and then when you first use this it's cold and then like as you use it it warms up to your body temperature and then it helps kind of like push that product into your skin as well and I am obsessed with that so I love it but this is how my skin looks after doing it and doesn't my skin just like it just like looks lifted like everything kind of just like looks like it got like pulled back I don't know is that just me but let me know do you guys use any of these things in the morning or in your daily skincare routine um, let me know but right now I'm going to go head out and uh, maybe have like some breakfast or coffee or something so see you guys outside there and this is how it looks like in regular daylight out like in the house how does my skin look does it look good uh, I feel like I really needed that clay mask last night. I feel like it makes such a big difference. Um, and then probably on Friday or I'll, you know, we have the live sales. Maybe Sunday night I'm going to do a microdermabrasion because I don't want to do them like, I, do I want to do them close together? No, maybe I'll give my skin a rest. Yeah, maybe Sunday, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow is the day, which is Friday. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Very excited. Now, I want to look for something to eat. I don't know what I should make. Maybe like an avocado toast sounds good.
Also, I was like filming really close to my face, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna make a coffee first, maybe. I want to show you guys the candelia though. It looks so pretty. Doesn't it look gorgeous? I love these orchids. We used to have a white one too, but the white one died for some reason. But this one always blooms every year, which makes me so happy and it's so pretty. It's so hard to find these. I ever only found it. This is from, oh, was it Home Depot? I think it was Home Depot. And I only found, I found two of them and I bought them. But the other one died. That was like a few years ago. But look how pretty. It's so gorgeous. I'm like obsessed with that thing. Hey guys, I just got inside the car, um, waiting for Yasmin because she was going to go and we were going to go pick up um, Cade, no, no, Cade, Zach and Eliza because they have a half day at school today. And today's handbag of the day is I'm using my little Chanel bag that I just got as a crossbody. I love this bag so much. It's literally so cute. And I don't have to take it off when I get into the car. I just like keep it on and it's perfect. So the only thing is that I would change about this is um, I feel like I'm more of a silver hardware person, but I mean, the gold is still pretty cool, so I don't mind, but I love it. And Yasmin is running, oh my gosh, look at her. She's running to the car. I was gonna pick them up, I didn't know. Hey, we got Zach and Elizo. How was school? What'd you do? You got, you got candy? We got, got candy, candy cart. cart. Tell, tell everyone uh, so, about the candy cart. You have to explain it because they don't so, know what that is. So the candy, the candy cart is um, only on Thursdays. The candy cart is, is, has two, three, like two or two, th five peop two people walking in each cart. And you are able to choose um, a variety of different candies while in the candy cart. The oh. lollipops only cost like one cent, I'm pretty sure. One, one cent? cent? I think maybe one quarter, you mean. Quarter, yes. So, so show them what kind of candy you got. Back. Show them what kind of candy you got. You, you got, mean three got, quarters back? Three quarters. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hendrix, I got what did you three quarter, I got I got three quarters back since I ordered also. the lollipop. Uh, so show also. them what you guys got. What kind of candy you guys get? I got Reese's Pieces and a lollipop. Oh, Kate's wow. favorite is yeah, Reese's. He's going to be so happy. Huh? What did you get, Zach? I got. I told. I told the the people for the to get the grape lollipop. Oh, that's oh. so good. But oh, also, show them. What no, but you show got. them what candy you got. I got also, my day I was shorter than a half day. I got oh, Kate half these, day. and I got mine. Oh, oh you, you got, got another candy. candy. That's so sweet. You that guys are so, so nice. nice. You got him two candies. You guys Actually, are such I nice picked, brothers. I picked for since he didn't want. He do, he didn't know what to do with it. Wow. Well, it's okay. It's okay. That's so nice. Okay, let's go inside. All right. See you guys. Bye. You guys, look what mom made me for so brunch. Sure, I don't know what this is. But this is um, using like that cauliflower wrap stuff that we got. And then inside is raspberries and Nutella. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look at that. It's made out of cauliflower? Mmm. Yeah, this is eggs and cauliflower. So it's going to taste like cauliflower? No, it tastes delicious. Take a bite in front of the camera. It's a crepe. I'll take a bite in front of I've the camera. I've eaten this before. Like, the, not this exact thing, but the crepe I've eaten. Oh, it's a crepe. Yeah, but the crepe is made of cauliflower and egg. Oh. But it doesn't taste like cauliflower, but it does smell like cauliflower. Oh, strange. So it has a strange smell if it's just Can by I itself. Can I smell it? You can't really smell it too much like when it's... Oh, yeah, you stuff. can't smell it. But, like, when you open the package for the first time, it's like... Strange. <laughs> Strange. But it's good. Alright, I'm gonna try this with you guys. Oh. Mm. That is so delicious. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna eat the rest. Okay, so I'm currently in the kitchen and I'm making uh, some lunch for the kids. So I'm making these chicken nuggets. These are actually really, really good. We just discovered these. They are just bare, lightly breaded chicken breast chunks, and these taste exactly like the, um, what is it called? The chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. They're really, really good, and they, the kids love them. So, this is like their new fave. I have those in there. I'm making those first. And then, 
I'm gonna make some more of these Arby's curly fries, the kids' new fave as well. I was at Walmart yesterday and I was getting french fries for, um, for them. And I was getting it for fast food fries, which, is our, which are the ones that you normally get, but they totally ran out. And then they had these, and I got these, and like, the kids are like obsessed. So, um, normally I air fry them, but I'm just frying them today. <laughs> Okay, I've been packaging some stuff and I was looking for something for Hello Kitty and I found one. So I'm pretty excited. This Thrive Market box is gonna be perfect. Yeah, she'll definitely fit in there. Look, she even matches the box, perfect. Hey guys, we are inside the car now and I'm about to head out to the post office. It was really warm earlier and then it got cold so quickly it's literally only 4 30 and i feel like the sun's already setting so um gonna go to the post office i think i'm gonna go to veteran stuff just really quickly but just really quickly so let's speed off all right we're at the post office just in time all right we just got here princess parking right in the front all right, looking through the bag Everything's pretty picked through though. I did find this cool pouch. And I feel like it attached to something. I don't know what it was. This thing is so heavy though. It feels Alexander Wang-ish, but I have no clue. Um, I don't know. The leather's really nice, but it's like 15 bucks. So, don't know. Okay, I just found this Clarice, not a Clarice, Clarice Vero pouch. It's beautiful, but it's 100 but so it's pretty pricey but it's really cute i think it's python Ugh, i'm just gonna hold on to it because i think i like it but i don't think i'm gonna get it it's really pricey but looking at the rest of the bag still see if we can find anything cool this is like a junior drake i think is it yeah junior drake bag that was 24.92 do you guys like Junior Drake bags? Can you comment down below and tell me if you guys like those? Because I find them pretty frequently. Cal Pop. This is actually kind of cute. Cal Pop. Seven dollars. I don't know if it's leather though. Hmm. I'll have to look that up. What's this? Okay, it doesn't have a label or anything, so I don't know. Kind of cool. Binkowski. This guy is... Dunno. This is like an interesting looking bag. What is this? Braided or something. That's so cool. What else? What else do we have over here? This is like a Stella McCartney, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Nope, it's Diaz. Oh, it's that Juicy Couture. Michael Kors. I think this is leather. The sack. American leather. This kind of reminds me of Chloe, but I don't think it is, is it? It is DCBG Max Azure. I don't know if this is a fake like the... Look. It's like a fake Jacques Demuth bag. Hmm. I need to look into this one. I'm out of there. Let me show you guys what... Wait, I grabbed the wrong bag. No, there's another bag that looked exactly like the Jacquemu one. Okay. Well, I grabbed the wrong one. This is a Levenger London. Probably not going to do that one. 
And then this one is a Michael Kors clutch, which is really cool looking. Um, and I think I kind of like it. It's 25 bucks. It has like this metallic snake skin. But this is like amazing. Now this one is Marquesa. Like seriously, this is like work of art. It is so stunning and beautiful. And I am obsessed. It even has like a quartz crystal thing on top of it. Marquesa. And this one is $50. Okay, there's a bunch of sunglasses in here. I don't know if like that pink one or the blue one, if those are like Dior's. Um, that white one is like a Marc Jacobs. That one's kind of cool. It has like a D&D &D on it, so is that like, I don't know if Dewey and Burke makes sunglasses. I don't know what that is. Um, this one is, I don't know, something patch. I like these gold ones too, like those ones right there are kind of cool. I can't read what it says though. I'm just looking at the rest of the stuff that's in here. These Marc Jacobs sunglasses are so cute. They kind of look like the Chanel ones. Maybe? I'll try them on and see if they fit. These Marc Jacobs sunglasses are cute too. I've never seen that style before. What's up with all these cute sunglasses? And then we have these possible Gucci's that I don't know if are real but they are $350 for the shoes and what else do we have? They got a lot of goodies today. Wow that ring is $2,500. Those red glasses right there are kind of cool too. I don't know if those are Marc Jacobs. They might be. There's a lot of sunglasses in here today which I really like. I love sunglasses. You guys already know that. Michael Kors right there. Um, I'm gonna look through the backpack section first before I go through and ask about this stuff in the case since there's a lot of people over there right now. Asking to look at stuff. Sean John. Do you guys see any cool bags here? No. Mm. Ellen Tracy. Sack roots. Pink. Black pink. This Lacoste tote, but it's 35 bucks. It's cute though. I feel like my aunt has that. Mm. Christmas tree. Luggage. I looks like I'm in the bathroom. I wouldn't go very fast if you want. Is this brand new with tags? Kate Spade's car? Hmm. It's forty dollars though. Look at that. Oh, it has little pockets. You can put your hands in them. That's cute. Over here looking for dust bags. There's a fossil dust bag. Casual something dust bag. What's this one? Something with an M. Juicy Couture dust bag. Kate Spade dust bag. This one's seven bucks though. Kind of expensive. I have this shirt that says Delphi. That's so funny. Guys, so like, okay, first of all, I found these um, Steve Madden dad sandals. I don't know if I should get them for mom. They're kind of cute. I don't know if she would wear them. Secondly, I found these amazing Charlotte Olympia boots. And they're like suede with laser cutouts. The bottom is like in this patent. They're high heels. Lace up, zip in the back. They're kind of everything. And they're literally only $25. What a deal. I wonder what size they are. Hold on. Um, did it say what size? Oh, wait, it's right there. They are a size 36. 36? 36. Oh, that is so cute. I wonder if my sister would wear those. Imagine I got those for her for Christmas. That'd be so hilarious. Well, look at these Prada sandals. These are so cute, actually. They're only 20 bucks. 
What size are these? These are actually very sensible. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hold on to those two. Look at me finding all the shoes. Oh my gosh, I love it. Who knew shoes where I was gonna be at today? Beautiful latex. What other shoes are we gonna find today? Just, I don't know why I love looking at the shoes so much. I think it's so fun. Charter, this is probably like Charter Club or something. Oh, sass. They tricked me. Thought they were like a Gucci horse bit thing. But they're not. Some Edelman. North Sam Edelman. International concept. Sam Edelman. These are those Madewell sandals that I saw last time that I wanted to get mom. But I feel like the heel is too low, so she wouldn't wear them. But they are really cute. I feel like she would like these. If they had a little bit of a heel. <laughs> Monroe. Oh my gosh, look at these. Doc Martens. Lady. Or what are those? Mary Janes. I was almost going to say Lady Fingers. I was not going to say Lady Fingers. Found some Todd's. Look at those. Those are actually cute. Size 8. 75 bucks though. Cole mm, Hans. Um, Stuart Weissman. Whoa, look at these. Ooh, nautical theme. What are these? These are from Target. That J Jill, yeah, J Jill. Mm, I'm trying not to buy too many heels because I feel like I always buy heels because I think they're so cute, but then no one ever wants to buy them. I just need to stay away. But these Michael Kors are cute, but they're $34.93, size 10. They're in really good condition though. I feel like they just need a little bit of a cleaning. What is this? Oh no, it's a little scratchy scratch. Okay, maybe if they go on sale. Ooh, look at these. I told myself I wasn't going to look at the heels, but these are fun. Donald J. Pliner. Um, wow, these are high. What are these? Giuseppe Zanotti's. There's a lot of these beauty feel shoes. Oh my gosh, why did these look comfy? Puffer jacket slippers? <gasps> I want the puffer jacket shoes that they have by North Face. I feel like I'm gonna get them. They're so cute. Ooh, Crocs. Oh, I, I knew I saw some Gucci. Are these real though? I don't know, did they feel real? Actually, these look fake. <laughs> Not me finding all the fake Gucci. Yeah, these are fake, but they're kind of cool. They would have been cute. Ooh. These are dad sandals, too, by Sass. These are cute, too. Mm, okay. Some Ferragamo. Nice. These are pretty. Mm, Top Shop, Kathy Jean, Sass. All right, I think we made it through all the shoes. Kind of cool. Michael Kors. All right, guys, check it out. I found these Manolo Blahniks. They're amazing. Um, they have wear though, like on the side of the satin. So, I don't know, I'm like a little hmm about them. But, I don't know, they might be authentic. The only thing that's throwing me off is that the size right here, I feel like it's normally supposed to be right here. So, I feel like it's in the wrong spot. So, these may be not authentic, though everything else is like pretty much spot on. I also did grab that Jacqueline Lou bag because I wanted to look at it again. Pretty sure it's fake, so we're not getting that. But I also just found as I was walking around 
this skirt. So this is a Versace Versus skirt. It's cute, right? Size 44, 40 bucks. It's kind of fun, but I don't know. All right, we just got back to the house and I am showing mom the new sandals that I got her. And they like fit perfectly. You can wear them with sandals, mom. They're like really cute. Look at that. Yeah. Mom, you're so cool. Oh, Those are so cute. cute. Fits me perfectly. Yeah. Mom, those look cute with your They're outfit. super cute. There oh, you go. See? So we love them. comfy. They're so cute. See, I was right. It's so comfy. I was right. Guys, I forgot to show you what I was eating, but these are the remnants of it. And salad. And then I had some barbecue chicken, which is like this couple left over there. And this beef skewer. It's so, so, so good. So. Okay, so I just finished eating. Oh. It was so good. I don't know why my hair is like such a hot mess today. But, um, what was I gonna tell you guys? <laughs> Zach showed me his project. It's so cute. He was working on it earlier. And he made this robot. It's currently upside down because when he was showing it to me and like practicing his little presentation on it, um, he was like <laughs> putting it, it was like, I don't know, he was like holding it funny and then it fell over and the side fell off. So, um, I helped him glue the head back on. But, I'm just like letting it dry. Well, it's probably dry, it's a cotton glue. Let's hope his head, oh, 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 oh. It's good, okay. I think the reason why it's like kind of weak is because the paper is like kind of loose. And then that's like why it moves around. So, um, I kind of just like wanna leave them. Oh no, I just broke it again. Oh man, I broke it. <laughs> okay, gotta fix it again. Okay, so hopefully I fixed the robot. Um, I'm scared to pick him up. I feel like it... Oh my gosh, I did it. Okay, I'm just gonna lay him down like that. And he's gonna be okay. Alright, I'm waiting for this thing. I think this thing has cooled down already though. Because I want to put it away. But I don't want to put it away when it's still hot. Um, so I'm just leaving that there for the time being. Also, I think I need to clean out some of the flowers. I think like the blue hydrangeas are kind of over it already. And some of the peonies are also like really dry. Though some of the other ones are still going strong. Like I, th I don't know if those are daisies or whatever those are. And the, um, those beautiful or or not orchids, um, lilies are looking fantastic. So, and some of the... Peonies are still looking really pretty too, but I think I need to clean it up before it gets crazy. And I think I might also change out the water because it's getting murky and no one likes that. Look, I still also haven't put away those things because I have been a hot mess. <clears throat> but before I start cleaning up the kitchen, my sister's making sure all the kids are upstairs taking a bath. Uh, my parents are already retiring for the evening, so they're upstairs kind of just like relaxing and winding down. And they are watching some of their favorite Korean dramas. I'm going to get to cleaning, but I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting today from the Veterans Thrift. So I'm gonna see you guys over here and we're gonna do a little holly haul. I apologize in the, ahead of time if you hear my sister yelling at the kids because they are being a little mischievous tonight. But I ended up getting the sandals. At first I wasn't going to get them, but then I was like, what? They are like really, really cute. And I know mom's gonna like them. And even though they have like little Velcro things on the back, I feel like they're not like too intense. Like they're just Velcro. They don't have to like tie the little, um, like a little belt thing, you know how, what I mean? So, um, and she really likes them. So I'm very excited. I was gonna like give them to her for part of her thrifted um, Christmas gift thing box that I'm making, but I'm just gonna give them to her already because she really likes them and she was really excited and I wanted to show them to her just in case she didn't like them. And they are like almost like new condition. They look like they've barely been worn. The bottoms are like so good. Excuse me, I got a hiccup and I got a my battery. We are back. Um, then I also ended up getting the Prada sandals. They are so cute. They are a size... Um, Oh, I think it was under the sticker. They're a size 36, I believe. And I need to take off the sticker before it like ruins the leather finish any more than it already does. 
Actually, I need to do that. Okay, we're just gonna stick it on the bottom. Um, I thought this one said the size. Oh no, it is. It says size 36. Right inside of there. I don't know. If that's coming up, but um, size 36, and they're pr in pretty good shape. I mean, um, I'm pretty sure these are vintage. This one has a little bit of scuffing, but I am going to fix it up, and I think it's gonna look fantastic. And I'm either gonna put this um, for sale during a live or on Depop, or I'm going to um, give them to my sister for part of her thrifted presents. Um, but I need to check and see what her size is because these might fit her. She's either 36 or 36 and a half, but they're so cute, especially the little heel is super fun. It's two inches. The heel is two inches. And I love that it's like all rubber on the bottom. It's like very sporty and fun. So I got those. Let me just take off these prices on this because the longer they sit, like the stickier and more damage they can cause to the shoe. And sometimes like I've taken off the stickers and it just like rips off all of the leather or something underneath the, the sticker and it's just like not good, so. I'm actually gonna do that with you guys. Hope you guys don't mind, but. Um, oh, I hope you guys all had a fantastic day today. Um, today was very busy here at the house. We were just like running around everywhere and I had to like package some stuff. And then uh, I picked up the boys from, well, at least I picked up Zach and Elizo from school because they had a half day and then came home and I made them lunch and they they just love those Arby's fries. I mean, <laughs> obsessed. I bought two bags yesterday and they finished the two bags already. So, I mean, that's a lot of fries though. Like I'm probably not gonna have fries for a while, but they, I don't know. I was just like, you know what? Let's just do it. Cause I was gonna let them, they, there were still leftovers from yesterday and then they really wanted to eat them for lunch, but then like there weren't, there wasn't enough. Then I was like, you know what? I'll just, just make the rest. So um, they really enjoyed it. Up next, I did end up getting these beautiful Charlotte Olympia knee-high boots. Amazing, they're also a size 36. Um, I didn't notice though that one of them is missing the little zipper pull. Um, the zipper thing is there. It just needs, it's missing this little web thing. Um, but I have like, like something that I can attach to it so that it'll, um, you'll be able to like open and like zip it and unzip it um, okay. So, I mean, that's like literally the only thing. Um, yeah, they're so cute though. Like, dead, right? These are so good. They're so high though, but they also have um, a bit of a platform. So maybe they're only, it's like, this is like five inches, I think but then you're only doing like a four inch heel in actuality because of the platform. But like, how cool are these? These are amazing. They're so nice, right? And I'm gonna have my sister try them on because um, they may or may not fit her, but look how, they're so cool. They're like amazing. Those are also a size 36. Um, then, I got um, this Michael Kors clutch. This is gonna be for a giveaway coming up. So um, probably this Friday, I'm gonna be giving away this little coach pouch. Um, yeah, it's super duper cute. It's just like the coach monogram in black. It has a little flower right there. It just zips across the top and then it has a little wristlet. And yeah, it's really cute. Then I ended up getting, I had to get the Marquesa clutch. It's so pretty. It is missing a few little gems, but you honestly can't even tell. You have to like look kind of hard to see it. But I think they can be replaced with some other ones. Um, either way, gorgeous. And the one, yeah, like, um, it, I love that it has like this stone thing too on the top, it is so, so pretty. I'm like obsessed with it. I love it. It's so good, this is like such a pretty clutch. Like, just like look how pretty that is. It's just like holding it in your hand. <laughs> and then, um, I also did end up getting 
this other silver clutch. I don't, you know what? I feel like this few, like past few months, I've been obsessed with finding things in silver and loving silver anything. And this one is a really cool Michael Kors evening clutch. Um, this is a laminated silver uh, snake skin. I don't know if it's python, but I know for sure that it's snake. It has these it's like metal on the sides, and then it just opens like this. It's also silver inside, and then it has the Michael Kors little placard right there. And um, this is Michael Kors collection, so it's not Michael by Michael. And yeah, it is such a cool piece, though. I'm like kind of obsessed over it. Um, I don't know, I just love the look of it. I think it's just like really cool. This is like another really cool evening clutch that you can carry with you. And the leather is so soft. Like snakeskin is literally so soft and amazing. And it's actually in really good shape. So pretty excited about this. So fun and shiny, shimmery. Um, and that's, was that it? Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got from the thrift. And... Oh, you know what? I also wanted to open the Nespresso with you guys. I mean, it's nothing too exciting. I think I've opened Nespresso things with you guys so many times already in the past, but there's nothing like new coffee. Though, I do want to see the new coffees that came out for the holidays. I think there were two kinds that I ordered. And then I'm also going to go and restock the coffee bar over there. Let's get my invoice. Tis the season for complimentary coffee. Shop between December 13 and 31 and get a complimentary sleeve. But I just ordered enough coffee through January. <laughs> I mean, you could always use more coffee. It's not like we're not gonna drink it. Um, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday thing also came, like when you ordered a certain amount, you got like this tote bag which is really cute. And it has these leaves inside. How festive. <gasps> That's pretty. Oh my gosh. It's like tropical inside. There's like a parrot in there and there's like palm tree fronds and I think you can turn this, oh, I think you can turn this inside out. Oh, that's fun. And then like on one side, this, um, it has a little pocket. That's cool. Perfect for grocery shopping. I love that I always talk about grocery shopping bags and then I always forget to bring them. And then I end up just like coming home, getting the bags from inside the house and bringing them out, loading them up in my car and then bring it over here. But I mean, at least I'm still using them, right? Um, and then I also got, I feel like they always do this, like the two complimentary coffees. <gasps> oh, okay, here is one of the new ones. It's forest fruit flavor, which I'm excited to try. Um, I'm actually gonna have one in a little bit after I finish cleaning up down here because I really wanna try it. Plus, I didn't have any coffee today. So, I'm um, rearing for coffee. Um, then I got Intenso. I got another one out of the forest. Really good. Let's just set them over here. Then, a Malozio Decaffeinato. I got a bunch of decaffeinated ones for mom and dad because sometimes it's just like to drink decaf coffee. And then um, caramel cookie, one of our favorites. I'm actually gonna separate the decaf ones so that I can make sure mom and dad know which one's which. It's another decaf. I think I ordered four of the decafs. Oh, vanilla. Vanilla custard pie is another really good one. I don't know if you guys um, order or um, use Nespresso coffee, but it's so good. Honestly, it's so good. I prefer it over Starbucks or any other coffees I've ever had. I, they're just so delicious to me, I don't know. Um, this is also the holiday one. This is the gingerbread flavor, which I'm also very excited to try, but I'll probably wait till tomorrow to try it because I want to try that forest fruit one. But this is very exciting. Can't wait. Um, here's a oh, caramel cookie, also very good. And I haven't tried this one yet, but I ordered it last time and my sister literally drank, I think she drank all of them. And this was the peppermint pinwheel flavor. Um, I don't know, peppermint, 
I like it, but sometimes I don't like it. So I'm like scared to try it, then might not like it. Plus, I'm also slightly allergic to like peppermint. Um, it kind of like makes my throat like a little scratchy, but I mean, maybe it won't. It, I don't know, unless I try it. But um, this is in our decaf coffee. Oh, chocolate fudge. Chocolate fudge is so good. I think chocolate fudge is one of my favorite ones. It's so good. Um, this is Stormio. Stormio is also delicious. Uh, I think it's one of the more, um, like the stronger ones. Yeah, it's like a level eight. They have like on the side of the boxes, it shows the levels of intensity for the coffees. And I do love an intense coffee. I don't know why, because I feel like caffeine doesn't really affect me too much. Oh, this one doesn't even, the chocolate one doesn't even have like the intensity thing on it. Um, I, I think I've told you guys this a lot of times, but I feel like caffeine doesn't really affect me too much and I don't really need to, I don't need to drink it. Um, and I, I don't I never get like withdrawals from it if I don't drink coffee because I'll go like weeks without drinking coffee then I'll like have coffee every day for like another week and then I'll go a few days without it and I feel like I'm always pretty good so I don't know if I'm just like but I really only just drink one cup a day my sister though she's like addicted to coffee she really needs coffee <laughs> another chocolate fudge I don't know why I put that gingerbread one over there um, I feel like I just ordered like a bunch of the ones that are the same. Another peppermint and vanilla custard. Sometimes I also like, especially during the spring and summer, I'll order them based off of the color of the pods because I like to see the colors of the pods inside the glass canisters. And I feel like that's always fun. Um, and then just one more decaf right there. So got four decafs and all that other stuff. And that is it's for our coffee unboxing. Pretty excited to finally stock up again because it's been looking really sad and bare over there.
All right, you guys, I am pretty much done cleaning up down here. Uh, pretty much have everything put away. Just gotta put all that stuff away. I was uh, just finishing up watering the plants, but now we are pretty much all clean. I'm just letting Narwhal finish vacuuming. He's over there somewhere. And then after he's done, I'm gonna have him mop. That's why I have all of the curtains up another time, or another night mopping up, so. Yep. Also, I have that light over there because there's like a fly and like that thing like zaps or whatever the bugs and it attracts them over there. So that's why that's over there. But that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys had fun today. I, try I tried my hardest to film as much as possible for Vlogmas. So let me know if I'm getting any better. Don't forget to check out this morning's thrifting video. Tune in tomorrow at 7 a.m. for the new thrifting video. And the new Vlogmas episode is up at 2. So, oh, and tonight, when you guys see this video, there's going to be a live sale. So go check it out. It's at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll see you guys there. The next one after that is on Saturday, same time. 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye guys.